Hi guys, Blue Ray Ben here and today obviously I'm going to show you my collection of the David Attenborough BBC nature documentaries. I'm you know I'm a real fan of David Attenborough. I love everything that uh, you know he's in, he comments on and uh, yeah, BBC they bring out some really really good documentaries. And my favourites happen to be the nature documentaries, obviously uh, narrated by David Attenborough or Sir David Attenborough. So yeah, I'm going to just go through these. I haven't got them all, so what I want people to do is, uh, you know, if you're into these series and you know a bit about them, definitely recommend some that I don't have. I do have, I think, the main ones, but there are a few out there that I still need to get. So yeah, definitely recommend them to me and uh, tell me if they're worth picking up on Blu-ray. I'm going to get straight into this and yeah, obviously give this video a thumbs up. Uh, and leave any comments down below because I always, uh, you know, love hearing from you and I will always answer your comments. So I've actually organised uh, the ones I've got in my set, you know, uh, by uh, by the date of the release. So we'll start with the ones that first came out up right until uh, right up until the you know the, the latest releases. Uh, yeah. So the first one is Life on Earth, and this is actually the 60th, uh, you know, uh, anniversary edition with a really nice slip. Absolutely love this one. It's probably one of my favourites, even though it is, you know, one of the older ones. Uh, the first few episodes are a bit boring because they're talking about, you know, how life started and things like that, and he's looking at fossils, which is all good. It's all good, but you know what I wanted to sort of get to is, you know, the animals and things like that, which I most enjoy. So yeah, the the later episodes are definitely better than the uh, the first ones for me. But this is such a great set, and uh, you know, really, really well done. So I definitely recommend picking up that. It's 1979. Okay, the next one I think is 1990 and it's Trials of Life and uh, this is another one that I really enjoy, you know, it goes all the way around the world, you know, uh, uh, following animals and things like that and as you can see on the front cover here, you know, there's a really good sort of uh, scene with the killer whales, you know, snatching uh, seal pups from the beach, I think it's in uh, Patagonia in Argentina, so yeah, but really, really good and uh, this one's got really, really, really good story, you know, that follows you through, you know, the trials of life and when they're born and when they're sort of growing up hunting and uh, you know when they die so it's actually really well done and I love all the episodes in this that's Trials of Life. The next one is uh, The Blue Planet. I actually recently picked this up in a, in the double set of The Blue Planet 1 and 2. Uh, you know upgraded it to Blu-ray. It's nice on Blu-ray but you know it's it's not way better than the DVD so if you've got the DVD I don't think it's really worth uh, you know upgrading. Obviously Blue Planet 2 on Blu-ray looks absolutely amazing. But yeah, I wanted to pick them both up in the set, so I did. And uh, yeah, this is probably my it's probably my least favourite of you know the, the David Attenborough documentaries that I've got. I wouldn't say it's boring, but it's just a bit slow for me. Uh, I really enjoyed Blue Planet Two, which I'll talk about when I get to it. But really, really worth watching. But as I said, uh, not my favourite one, and uh, yeah, a bit slow at times, and uh, it seemed a bit repetitive on some of the you know the animals and what they were doing. Okay, the next one, of course, I've got to have this in my uh, collection. It's Planet Earth, the complete series. Absolutely amazing. So, so many great uh, episodes from this. So many great animals all the way around the world. And then this is the one, you know, that I, when I watched this, I sort of was blown away and sort of, uh, you know, realised that, yeah, these, DVD, these BBC documentaries are absolutely amazing. And, uh, yeah, really have to have this on Blu-ray. It looks amazing. Okay, Life. This was one that I didn't pick up for ages because I thought it was just going to be repeating things that you know they've been I've been watching in the the previous sort of documentaries. But when I saw it, you know, uh, you know, for cheap, I picked it up and actually it was really good and I really enjoyed it from start to finish. And uh, so happy you know to have seen it and it'll be one I'll be rewatching pretty soon. So yeah, and it looks amazing, Blu-ray. Okay, Frozen Planet. This is not many people's uh, you know favorite, but I did really enjoy it. Obviously. You know, mainly uh, filmed in the Arctic and Antarctic regions, and of course, you know, follows whales and polar bears, Arctic foxes, and you know, seals and things like that. But I'm really fascinated by the, uh, you know, the, the North and South Poles, and you know, the animals how they survive there. So I really enjoyed this, and it's really well, you know, filmed. You know, it's difficult to film in the Arctic. You know, all it is is sort of white all the way through, and I think they do a really good job. And uh, yeah, absolutely amazing series. Now this is. I don't think it's my favourite, but it is definitely up there. It's Africa, which I once again I didn't expect much from, because I'd seen you know loads and loads of documentaries on the TV about Africa and Serengeti and you know and all the animals, lions and things like that. And I thought well, it's not going to be anything I haven't seen. But this show is actually they've they've taken a turn.
turn and they actually went for you know filming animals that weren't very common in other documentaries and you know stories in African animals that you know surprisingly haven't been filmed before and I absolutely loved it you know there were some really good animals there that I didn't even know existed and that's after seeing all the series I've seen uh, there's also about uh, a scene about you know a catfish that they've actually discovered in Africa in the last 10 or 15 years actually loved, loved that episode it was really good and I definitely recommend this to anyone don't think it's going to be you know like the typical African documentaries of the crocodiles you know eating the, the wildebeest and uh, things like that obviously there are going to be some things that you've seen but it's really different turn and I really enjoyed it it was really good and it looks amazing on blu-ray uh, this is also when you actually start to see a uh, David Attenborough, you know, he's not really taking part in the actual episodes. He sort of talks before the episode, the start, the, the Blu-ray, and at the end, and things like that. So this is when you start realising that, you know, he's getting a bit old, and he wouldn't, he wasn't able to sort of walk around Africa and Serengeti and things like that and film everything. Okay, the next one is Life Story. For me, this was just sort of an okay uh, documentary. I did really enjoy it. Once it's very uh, similar to the Trials of Life for me, you know, following from the birth to the death. But I thought it was really good, and the one the scenes where they follow the elephants, I thought was really, really heartwarming, and uh, I really enjoyed it. Uh, and yeah, really good. Okay, the next one isn't a typical one that people sort of have or sort of rave about. It's a Great Barrier Reef. I actually picked this up last year because on my honeymoon I was going to go to Australia, and obviously wanted to go and snorkel and dive on the Great Barrier Reef, which we did, which was absolutely amazing. Uh, so I wanted to pick this up. It was only seven or eight pounds narrated by David Attenborough and I thought well I'm going to pick it up so I'll you know, kill two birds with one stone I'll be able to watch the documentary uh, and enjoy it and also learn a bit about where I'm going to be snorkeling and diving having said that I didn't really enjoy it because uh, I can't remember I think it's three episodes I think for an hour each episode and, but a lot of it is dedicated to the history of the Great Barrier Reef how it was formed you know and things like that and the effect that sort of humans have had on it and that we need to save it and that's all that's all good, but you know what I was actually interested in was more the animals that live there and uh, things like that. There are a couple of you know scenes we're talking about you know the clownfish and the typical rays and things that are the reef sharks around there, but most of it is dedicated to you know the history of the Great Barrier Reef, as I said, and how we need to protect it and all things like that. So I didn't really enjoy it as much as I thought I would, but definitely still worth a watch. Okay, so we get down to the last two, which are the newer ones. The first one is Planet Earth Two, absolutely amazing. Really, really enjoyed it. I didn't enjoy it as much as uh, Planet Earth 1. Obviously, there are a lot lot less episodes. I was expecting it to be a lot longer. But it's still really well filmed. looks amazing on Blu-ray. And, uh, you know, there was, a, there was a sort of scene or an episode that was focusing on uh, the snow leopard. It was absolutely amazing in this. So, yeah. And last but definitely not least, and probably my favourite, this in Africa and Planet Earth, Plan uh, Blue Planet 2. This, when I put this in a couple of months ago, uh, just blew me away on Blu-ray. On Blu it looked absolutely amazing. I think they start off the, the first episode, you know, with some uh, dolphins, uh, you know, surfing, you know, in the waves. Oof, the colours, it was filmed so, so beautifully. It was just, you know, they've got the new cameras that they can sort of film in different ways. You've got drones, you can sort of film them from above, and it was just, you know, it just blew me away. So if you're not into the documentaries and things like that and you just thought you want to get into it, you know, watch my video, I highly recommend this one on Blu-ray and watch this and you will be mesmerised. Absolutely amazing. And this is what I'm going to be watching probably once a year. And I, it just really opens my eyes, you know, what's going to be, you know, the way to film animals in the future and the different cameras and ways they're going to be able to film. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. What I'm not looking forward to it is David Attenborough passing away because he is quite old now and... I don't know who's going to replace him and he'll never be able to, you know, uh, be up to his level, but there you go. So, there's my collection. I don't want this video to go on too long. As I said, give me some recommendations, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Take care, guys.